Luke here from Out of Ashes Farm. I wanted to show you guys something that we uh, installed in our passive solar greenhouse. Uh, so we wanted to be able to heat and cool this thing so that we could uh, use it all year round. So we were looking for a cheap, efficient, effective way to do that. And that's when I stumbled upon what I call a poor man's geothermal, also known as a climate battery or a subterranean heating and cooling system. Basically what it does is it takes advantage of the thermal mass of the soil. Uh, soil off, sits at a real moderated temperature, somewhere around 50 degrees. And so uh, during the winter, you can take advantage of that temperature to warm the greenhouse. During the summer, you can take advantage of it to cool it. I'm sorry if there's some noise. My dog is looking for something and has been for a while. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, systems like this have been shown to change the temperature as much as 20 degrees up or down. Um, but there's a couple things you need to put in place to make sure it really works. So uh, let me show you uh, how it actually works. So we have a uh, we have an intake installed here. It's a barrel with a fan on top. Uh, you need to get a big enough fan that you can move the air and the temperature underground five times an, air, an hour. Sorry, the air in the greenhouse. So you want all the air in the greenhouse to be able to move through the system five times an hour. Um, so on top of that barrel, uh, there will be there will be more barrels stacked on top so that we're pulling air from from higher up in the greenhouse. And underground, it's pushing it into 500 feet of drain pipe that we installed. Now, it's important that it's actually drain pipe uh, because uh, the air is going to condense when it goes underground. It's going to create moisture. That moisture needs to have somewhere to go. So it's important that it's drain pipe so that the moisture can disperse into the soil and actually improve mold and humidity issues in the greenhouse rather than make them worse. Um, the pipe is connected to an exhaust. So the air comes out here at a real nice flow. I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. So you can see uh, the pipes stacked on top of each other. It's kind of snaking all around under the greenhouse. Um, now, you might ask, why did we use 500 feet? Uh, there was a really handy calculator at sunnyjohn.com uh, that showed kind of how much you needed based on the, cubics, the cubic feet of your greenhouse. That calculator has since disappeared. So someone better at math than me is going to need to help you figure that out. Um, but uh, that's why we did 500 feet. So a uh, bigger greenhouse, you're going to need more. Smaller greenhouse, you're going to need less. So um, air comes out cooler during the summer. Air comes out warmer during the winter. We're going to be installing a thermostat right here. A uh, thermostat will control the fan based on the temperature in the greenhouse. That's my next project so we can really get this thing rolling. Uh, we have a lot of other projects that we're still working on inside the greenhouse as you can see. Uh, so I'd love to show you more as progress continues. If you have any questions, uh, please leave it in the comments. Let us know. I'd love to see what you guys are doing along similar lines to uh, be able to grow all year round. All right. Thanks. Bye.